Hello everyone welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a couple weeks but I am back for the new year. I got a new camera at Christmas and I'm not used to it yet so I don't know how the video quality on this is going to be and the screen that I have to see myself is on the side now instead of at the top. So I feel like it's going to be a lot more obvious when I'm watching myself but we'll see. So today first video back I got this nifty little Bonnie Boost wave wand for Christmas. Well, I bought it for myself with my Christmas money. I was gonna unbox it, but I kind of already did that. So I'm gonna use it and see if it's worth the hype. And then I asked some questions on my Instagram just so I would have something to talk about. And a lot of people ask questions about getting our house and buying our house and the process that we're kind of in. And then obviously a lot of wedding stuff. So I'm gonna try my best to answer those. There's not a whole lot, but there's there's a few so I'm gonna do that hoping for the best with this new camera I got the Canon EOS M50 the one I had before was a Sony and it was fine but it kind of was overheating a lot and I don't know I just have heard a lot of good things about this camera so I'm hoping that I'll be able to do a little bit more with this and I wanted a camera that I could put a microphone on because my old one I couldn't like there wasn't an out like a microphone input for it so that's why I got a new one but without further ado let's just get into this video also please ignore all this stuff right here this is my snacks for work and I haven't taken them to work yet because my mom just got them for me today so just ignore that so I got the Bonnie Boost wave wand for those of you that don't know um, this is kind of going around all over Instagram and stuff like that and it's just supposed to make your hair wavy like it's not a curling wand necessarily or anything like that but it was like 60 bucks so I hope it was worth it I didn't unbox it but in the box obviously comes the, the actual tool itself and then the cord is honestly super long so you could reach across an entire bathroom if you needed to and then it comes with like a little heat protectant glove honestly probably never gonna use this but it came with it so that was cool and then it came with operating instructions probably not gonna use these either just because honestly it doesn't really look like there's a whole lot to it it kind of just tells you to turn it on and stuff like that so i did turn it on once already but i'm not quite sure like how it works because there is like a power button and then there's two like buttons on the side and like the two buttons on the side every time I would press them it would say like lock so I'm not really sure what that meant. I need to google it. Also it comes with this little thing that you can like prop it up on if it's hot like on a counter so you don't like burn the counter basically so that's nifty but then it has this little screen and it just tells you like the temperature that you have it on. I don't have mine even plugged in right now so that's why there's nothing on it but when you do have it plugged in that's what it says on there. So I'm gonna get to waving my hair. All right, so I have a mirror like right here. So if you see me looking away, that's why. And also the lighting is like kind of weird just because where I have my ring light positioned so I can actually see into the mirror. So if you see me looking all over the place, that's why. Also I have all the questions on my phone. So if you see me looking at that, that is also why. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer the first question while my wave one heats up. The first question I got was any new recipes that you're obsessed with? So since I'm at home, I don't really cook that much just because I get home super late. But something I love to make is teriyaki salmon and asparagus. I'll link it down below. The recipe I got is from Pinterest. So you literally, it's like, I want to say it's like five ingredients. You make a marinade. Um, you can marinate it like overnight or just for a couple hours, whichever you prefer. And then you can either make it in the oven or you can put it on the grill or you can put it in like a cast iron skillet if you really wanted to do that. We usually grill it unless it's super cold outside. And then we do asparagus and we make our asparagus in the oven. We broil it just because it makes it like the perfect crunchiness. But we put garlic salt. Sometimes we'll put onion powder, just like a little sprinkle. And then all season and salt and Jonathan likes to put Worcestershire so sauce on it. I don't actually know how to say that word but he likes to put that on it. It makes it super super good. We make that with a lot of stuff and then we just put it over a bed of rice. So like I said I'll link it down below. It's just teriyaki salmon but it's so so good and it's so easy to make. Some of the ingredients they're like the international section so they are a little bit more expensive but it's so good. Like it's it's so so worth the money. Also I feel like I'm gonna burn myself with this so when you do it, it just opens like that and then you literally just like put your hair in it and hold it. I probably should have used heat protectant. I can't even get my hair in here, but I feel like this may take a while. So you just leave it on there and it's hot. Like I can feel it radiating off of here, like onto my face and it kind of is really warm, but I don't know how long you're supposed to leave it on. I feel like there should have been directions. For this but then I'm just gonna go I guess where I already had like a little wave going on I don't really know I feel like I didn't leave it on there long enough I don't really know how this is gonna work out 
Yeah, I think I definitely needed to leave it on there longer. Let's try again. This time I'm gonna put more hair in it. Not really on purpose. I don't know, I just feel like you shouldn't leave it on your hair for this long. But that's what we're doing. I hope this is like pretty and I didn't waste $60. I have heard a lot of people say that it's freaking awesome, but like, I just, I don't know how I feel. Like the bottom, I mean, I guess I didn't really do the bottom, that's probably why. I'm scared I'm gonna burn my hair off. That doesn't seem good. Okay, first piece. Oh, that's not terrible. I don't, don't love it by any means, but I don't, like I said, I don't know the proper way to use this tool. So we're just gonna hold it on there for a really long time. We're gonna answer another question. Another question was, why are you moving out? Um, I'm moving out because I work 45 minutes from home and that drive is literally killing me slowly and it's terrible and I hate getting home so so late I don't have time to do anything it sucks in the morning I'm exhausted the drive sucks also me and Jonathan are getting married if you guys didn't already know that we're getting married so we were gonna be getting house together anyway and we just kind of felt like it was the right time to do this with my work and like we have the finances for it right now obviously we're not like filthy rich by any means we're not even close but for where we are in our lives like we're doing well and we just I don't know we just felt like it was time to get out of our parents house and maybe closer to work and let's have our own space and we didn't want to have to rush and do that like when we got married because I was going to be stressed about like wedding stuff and who knows what else so that's why we kind of decided to do it now honestly we didn't think we were going to be able to because of my student loans but we actually were so that was nice. Okay, maybe I just need to do smaller pieces because that seems to look better than this large piece I did here. Let's try again. Another question I got was um, like how we got approved for a house, I think, yeah. How did you get approved for a house? So, fun story actually. Um, we, honestly, we didn't think we were gonna be able to get approved, we didn't even try. Well, Jonathan tried to get approved by himself, but he couldn't because his credit, like his credit doesn't suck, but like it wasn't good enough for him to do it alone. And his work history, it's like not, he hasn't been at the same job for two years. So him by himself, it looked unstable, even though he had like a valid reason for changing all his jobs. I don't really think I like this. Good thing it's on the bottom. Um, so he tried to get like a VA loan because he's in the reserves and he couldn't get approved for that so we were actually looking to rent somewhere and I was looking on some website I don't remember what it was but I like messaged them because I was interested Albert Mayer was interested in one of the places we saw online so I emailed her or I emailed the people I didn't know who it was at the time but I emailed them and I was like asking if they allowed pets because it didn't specify and like I do have Hendrix so I emailed to see if they allowed pets and she emailed me back and she was like no this property doesn't but she sent me a list of properties that she was like not managing but like that she had access to that did allow pets and so we were kind of looking into that but they were like super expensive like a thousand dollars a month for like a two-bed bedroom like duplex and we were like that is ridiculous we're not paying a thousand dollars for rent and we don't even like it's not even a whole house like that is ridiculous well that one's kind of pretty we were like that is just a waste of money like if we're gonna spend a thousand dollars a month in rent we would rather just buy a house and so I told her I was like you know those are those are nice places but like they're really kind of out of our budget especially because it's just renting and like it's not worth it like we can just live at home oh crap i think i turned it off oh no anyways i was like that's just really out of our budget and she was like well have you guys considered buying a home like are you guys ready for that kind of step and i was like well yeah like we're interested in that but i have a lot of student loans and jonathan's already tried to get approved and he couldn't by himself so like we don't really think that's an option and then she emails me back and she's like oh no like i have a have a lender that I work with a lot and he works with people my dog barking what's new she was like he works with you know he's worked with people in your situation a lot and if you want to reach out to him like I definitely think you should do that so I did and he was like yeah I definitely think I could help you guys and we found out more from this guy in literally an hour conversation than Jonathan had found out from any other lender he had talked to which was three of them in like two and a half months so we did that and like we got approved like two days later. 
so our realtor has been awesome and it's just like honestly by chance that we met her or like got in contact with her completely by chance but I love her and she's so sweet and she's been so helpful through everything because like we're first time homebuyers we don't know what the heck we're doing we don't know what anything is or what's a good deal and all those kind of things so she's definitely helped us with that please just ignore Hendrix so we went and looked at houses like she would send us houses we would find houses online that we liked and then we would go look at them and then we finally put in an offer and like she really did everything for us the paperwork she wrote it all up she met with the home inspector and all that good stuff so she's pretty much done it all and then they just have to like get your like bank statements and credit report and all that good stuff and they just like do all the work for you basically you just have to sign the documents and like give them certain information like we had to send in like pay stubs and like a copy of our driver's license and things like that but pretty much they did everything for us and it's been a great experience honestly we got kind of nervous because my student loans like they didn't show up the right amount when they first ran my credit so then when we actually put an offer in on a house and they went to like relook at it it was completely different and we thought that was going to totally screw us but it didn't because the guy fixed it so he made it to where it would still work so we are so thankful for that I had to take a brief little break there to go let my dog back in because he was being obnoxiously loud and I'm sorry that you just had to listen to that for however many seconds before this. The how do we get our house? Um, we just had a realtor that we just so happened to stumble upon and then she basically led us to every other person that we needed to get in touch with and stuff. This up here looks kind of funky. I don't like that very much. Oh, I'm out of breath because I just ran after the dog. That looks ridiculously goofy. Next question. <laughs> My mom said, how much will you miss your mom when you move? I miss her a lot, but she acts like I'm moving so far away. It's literally 30 minutes away. 30 minutes. And it's just like down a main highway. Like she can come visit me whenever she wants. And she's acting like I'm moving across the country. Literally. Bless her soul. How's Hendrix? Um, Hendrix is great. Super obnoxious and loud, but he's fantastic. He has a vet appointment on Monday for a checkup, but I think he's good. Just like an annual thing, you know. That did not curl at all. Definitely need a smaller piece. But he's back in his like destructive phase. I don't really know why he tore up his dog bed the other day. I don't know why he did that, but now he doesn't have a dog bed. So that was kind of stupid on his part, but I'm not buying him another one if he's just going to tear it up. Not worth it. He's just going to have to deal with the consequences like a child would. <laughs> Someone said give us a house tour. I would definitely give you a house tour when we move in and stuff because there's like some stuff that we're going to remodel and I want to vlog that because I think it will be a lot of fun to show you guys what we're changing and like the before and afters but we don't close until february 10th so i'm currently still living at home like we can't just go in there like whenever we feel like it because the other people are still fixing some things up so we have to like basically schedule an appointment basically like how we did to tour the house the very first time so i'll give you guys a house tour and like a remodel it'll probably be several vlogs like a remodel before and after like when we get all that done in a few weeks so i will i will do that but i can't do that right now so sorry you're gonna have to wait <laughs> okay all the rest of the questions I have I think are about getting married and wedding stuff mainly wedding stuff Caitlin asked what are like honeymoon question marks I'm assuming that she means like honeymoon plans truthfully it's still very up in the air right now because of COVID before COVID was a thing and we talked about it like a year ago where we would want to go on a honeymoon we both kind of decided that we wanted to go to like Italy because I think that would be super cool and we're probably gonna get like quite a bit of money from our wedding so we were like why not spend it on a freaking awesome trip and something that we're probably never gonna get to do again somewhere we're never gonna get to go again like I just think it would be so cool to go on honeymoon to Italy and eat all the food there and all that good stuff so that's where we really want to go COVID permitting like if the world is semi back to normal and Italy lets us in because right now Italy's like no Americans sorry so we're hoping fingers crossed that we can go to Italy but if not honestly I don't really know what our backup plan again it kind of just depends on like the state of the world whenever October comes we honestly might be stuck somewhere in the U.S. so if if we get stuck in the U.S., we might do like a road trip again. I don't know where to, but that might be like our backup plan. I don't really want to do that because we've already done that. I want it to be something different, something we're probably never going to do again, but we'll see. I'm, I don't know. I feel like I'm doing this wrong because I feel like this is not very pretty. Maybe I'm doing too much hair at once. Um, yeah, I don't... 
I don't think I'm doing it right. I'm gonna start this one lower because I don't like how this part like flipped out so much. Am I doing this wrong? If you've used one of these before and you can make your hair look pretty, can you let me know how? Also, I feel like I should probably watch like a YouTube video on it or something and I would be a lot better at it, but kind of impatient and this is taking a long time. So another question while I fry my hair off, <laughs> what are you most excited about for your new house and getting married? The thing I'm most excited about getting our own house, obviously like having our own space together, but there's a lot of stuff that we're like remodeling not because we have to or because it's like need like not because it necessarily needs it but just so it can be like ours and it's like a little project in the living room we're gonna rip up the carpet and put down um it's like the snap vinyl i don't know if you guys know what that is but we're gonna put that down which well, Austin's gonna put it down i'm gonna watch and we're gonna do that we're gonna paint um i think we're gonna paint the cabinets in the kitchen possibly redo the floor in the kitchen at some point we have to put up a fence for hendrix just like a bunch of little stuff and then at some point i want to like change the bathroom bathroom like vanities that are in there because they're just kind of like outdated like nothing is wrong everything's just not like modernized kind of I don't know if that makes sense but it's all dark brown wood not dark brown but like the wood that you see in like old houses and I don't really like that very much so we're gonna change a lot of that stuff so I'm excited to like start like to do projects together and like see what we turn it into for ourselves kind of thing I'm excited for that um what am I most excited about for marriage I don't know I feel like me and Jonathan have been in like a place where we've been ready to do that for like a good minute but like I wanted to be done with school and like have a job and things like that like I wanted to be able to adult and like pay our bills <laughs> and not work at Food Lion so like we already do things like as a team but I think it will be different like when we're married because like we'll be married I don't know I don't know what I'm most excited about for marriage I'm just excited to like move to that next chapter of my life and like I mentioned in my goals video we want to become foster parents maybe but we want to wait till we're married to do that so like we can enjoy you know our time together like we don't want to do it as soon as we get this house because we want to be able to like enjoy our time together first before we add a child of any kind whether or not it's ours and it's staying permanently or it's someone else's like we want to be able to enjoy being together without somebody else or something else to take care of besides the dog so I'm excited for that when we get married like to do the foster care stuff um there's not one thing that stands out to me that's like wow I'm so excited for this thing that will happen once we're married because I feel like yes marriage is important like getting married is important but like your relationship shouldn't really change that much like we already have like a really good foundation I feel like not to say that it's not gonna get better I just feel like we're already in a very good place and so like nothing is like super gonna change once we're married since we're already gonna be living together okay this this side looks pretty good this side not so much but anyways i feel like you know people that wait till they're married to live together like that's fine you know to each their own it's just not what we're doing i feel like that's exciting to like get your own place together but we're already gonna have that so i don't really know i guess we'll just see when i get there i'll update you guys in like a year another wedding question how is wedding planning going um it's good i'm pretty much done i was pretty much done wedding planning like two and a half weeks after we got engaged because i've been planning for what felt like ever so i pretty much already knew the vendors i wanted all i needed to do was like actually be engaged to like actually talk to them and set a date and stuff i've been done with that the only thing i have left to do is get a dress that's important but i'm really waiting on my nana to get out of this freaking covid stuff and i really want her to be able to go but i don't know if that's gonna be able to happen and i'm like hockey sad about it but I need to get a dress and then like our bridesmaids and groomsmen need outfits but that's not really a pressing issue right now and then we just have to like pay for everything when we put deposits down but we need to like finish paying for it a lot of it's not due until 30 days before but we just need to save money <laughs> so that we can actually pay for it our parents are helping a lot but I don't want them to have to pay for everything because I don't know I'm just not that type of person so we need to save money but everything is planned stuff just needs to be like finalized I'll say that like I know what decorations I want my mom just has to make them someone asked how much are you spending on your wedding I don't know yet to be completely honest because like I mentioned we haven't paid for everything yet most of the stuff isn't due yet but I'll go ahead and tell you it's not a lot like Compared to a lot of people I know, it's not it's not gonna be like a twenty thousand dollar wedding. It's gonna be like half that. Maybe not quite half that, but the vendors are not super cheap, but I didn't spend a ton of money on like a DJ. Like there were some DJs quoting me for like four thousand dollars and I was like, I could plug up my phone to a speaker for free. I'm not paying you two thousand dollars. I'm gonna make a whole video like once 
the wedding is over or the wedding is close to happening and all the stuff is finalized. I don't know if I'll tell you exactly how much I spent, but like tell you the ways I saved money and stuff that I splurged on. My mom making the decorations like DIY, like she literally is using straws to make this little thing that I want and so like we're saving a lot of money that way. Family friend is cooking for us so we don't have to pay for catering. Our invitations, I bought templates off Etsy. The actual wedding invitations I'm going to print myself because there's not a lot of colors, just a couple flowers. So I'm just going to print those at home myself. That's going to be super cheap and then for our save the dates, I'm not buying them off of like a wedding website because they're so expensive. They're like $2 a sheet and we have $150 to send. Like I don't, I don't have $300 to send on a save the date. Like, like that's ridiculous. So I bought a template again off Etsy. I bought like a bundle pack and then I'm just going to get them printed at Office Depot I think because it's going to be like $65 to print $150 and they're going to turn out just as good and there's no reason to spend $300 on invitations. Also to send them postage is so expensive and this might sound tacky but y'all want to know how your girl is saving money? I will tell you. So our close friends and family that live like near us like within a 20 minute drive i'm going to take them their like invitation and save the date or whatever myself like i'm gonna not hand deliver like i'm gonna hand deliver it but not like knock on their door like i'm just gonna go by and put it in their mailbox and not pay for postage because it's 50 cent a stamp or 50 couple cent a stamp if you guys didn't know that and we have 150 things to send so that right there is like 75 dollars just in stamps and that's nuts to me. Obviously the people like my friends from school and his family that is not that doesn't live here obviously we're gonna have to mail those and like that's fine but like some of the people that like Jonathan works with some of the people that go to my parents church things like that I'm just gonna hand deliver it because I don't care like if it seems impersonal I don't really know why because I'm literally giving it straight to you so I don't think it needs to stamp on it for it to mean anything so that's how I'm gonna be saving not hundreds of dollars but like Honestly, probably like 20 bucks I'm gonna save by delivering things just on save the dates and then when the wedding invitations go out I'm probably gonna deliver a lot of those myself too just to save money on stamps. So overall that'll be like 40 bucks I saved and that's not a whole lot in the grand scheme of things but $40 is $40. That's $40 I could put towards our house payment that we now have or that we will have. I'm gonna make a whole video about that and I will post it for you guys and I'll go like way in depth. I'm almost done. This is kind of taking a long time and I'm not really a fan. I'm just really excited to get this house. <laughs> That's gonna be a lot of vlogs. Um, I took like a two week break. I was only gonna take like a one week break but I took two and I'm feeling very inspired and I have a lot of fun stuff coming up. I just don't know exactly when certain things are gonna get done like the house remodel type deal. I don't know how long that's gonna take so that's coming up and then obviously more wedding stuff because it is actually wedding year finally. We still have like 10 months but it's wedding year nonetheless so that's super exciting i'm getting a caseload at work next week so like i'm actually gonna be doing what i was hired to do not training anymore so that's super fun i'm super excited about that i got my hair dyed i forgot to mention that it's not that gone awful brown anymore i don't know why i did that i don't know why i ever go brown i hate it so much as soon as i do it and i just i just thrive as a blonde and it's not because i'm stupid most of the time. I'm excited that my hair is blonde again. Okay, see this side looks a lot better and this side always looks better when I curl my hair too, like with a curling wand. I don't know what it is. We only have a couple pieces left and I don't know, it's not like this, this thing is not hard to use, it's just very time consuming because you have to hold it on there to make it work basically. And if you're in a hurry, this is probably not, probably not for you, but I'm having fun nonetheless. I feel like it's probably super bad for your hair though that's the only thing i'm gonna finish doing these couple little pieces and then i'll show you the final product okay so i just finished and i went back over and like touched up some pieces on the underneath but overall not bad i mean i don't think that it's gonna last if i sleep on it but this is basically what it looks like if i braid my hair when it's wet but it didn't take you know overnight so this is with no like messing with it or anything. I don't I don't hate it. Especially this side. This side looks a lot better than I don't know if you guys can really tell. But it's definitely wavy. Um definitely not curly, but my hair doesn't really curl like that anyway. So this could be cute. I don't know. Maybe I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but 
the underneath especially on this side is not very wavy and like I even went back over it it just kind of didn't stay I don't know if it's because I did this first when it wasn't like super hot or what I don't hate it it's kind of cute kind of cute so and my hair is super flat naturally so this like made it more voluminous and stuff so I don't hate it I think this was a good purchase I just need to like get a little better at it and maybe let it heat up more before I start using it but that is gonna be all for this video if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below I've already hit 300 subscribers and haven't even posted anything yet this year so that's pretty cool I think I told you guys in my goals video I wanted to get to 600 this year if you have any video ideas or any more questions you want to know about home buying or wedding planning or just anything in general leave it in the comments or DM me on Instagram I'll put it right here for you guys i know i'm looking over at the side i'm gonna have to get used to that but yeah so that's gonna be the end of this video and i will see you guys again next week